is a girl's bathroom. No boys allowed in here. She's gone mental. Catch the flying objects before they hit you. is throwing a book at me. Let's all throw books at Myrtle because she can't feel it. What a lovely game, I don't think. Here, why don't you have it? I'm glad we changed back. I didn't like being crab one bit. I wonder where Hermione went. I hope nothing went wrong with her potion. Harry, I'm very displeased that you missed my new defense against the dark arts class. To be a successful wizard, you have to study with the best. Come along to my office for a private lesson. Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. Looks like you're still Lockhart's number one student. Remember that Lockhart's office is in the lower castle. I thought it was bad enough with everyone thinking I was the heir of Slytherin. A private lesson with Lockhart is much worse. I'm going to see if I can find Hermione. I wonder what went wrong with her potion and where she went. Everyone's saying that Potter's the heir of Slytherin. Potter's a parcel mouth. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Harry, her man is in the hospital wing. The Polly's use potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. Ah, Harry, you finally made it. Terrible news about young Mr. Creevy being petrified, not to mention poor Mrs. Norris. No need to worry, though, as your defense against the dark arts teacher, I'll save the day. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times and you will learn Verdimilius Duo. Are you ready? Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. That's the easy one. Ready now? Splendid! Perfection! Perfection!
One more to go. Get ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Splendid. Perfection. You've earned a great A. Congratulations. Splendid! Crispin Cronk. Excellent! Quite excellent! And so to business. Time to put the spell you've learned to practical use. Now, Harry, hold down the X button to cast a fully charged Verdimilius duo spell. Once cast, the spell will show you objects hidden by dark magic. Use what you find to leave the room. Excellent, Harry! I knew you would do it! I'll have to watch myself in a few years' time, or you'll be stealing my job. Now, run along. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I have something very special planned. The race for the House Cup continues. Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff? Slytherin? Gryffindor? Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry! Uh, how many cards have you received? Uh, so far, I've only received um, 46. Hmm, but the day is still young. I've arranged a little surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card carrying cupids! How are you, Harry Potter? Stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's cards. Ugh! Keep away from me!
Harry flicked through the blank pages of the diary. Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first page. Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, My name is Harry Potter. Then at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle, and then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years ago, the chamber was opened and a girl was killed. I caught the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O.K. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind, and then the diary seemed to open up, and Harry was pitched headfirst into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. Peering through a crack made by an open door was a boy of about sixteen. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, the owner of the diary. Then Harry heard someone speaking in a low whisper. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rebaeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him! He wouldn't! He never! And then, from out of the box came something that made Harry let out a long, piercing scream unheard by anyone. A vast, low-slung, hairy body and a tangle of black legs, a gleam of many eyes and a pair of razor-sharp pincers. The thing scuttled away, tearing up the corridor and out of sight. No! The scene whirled. The darkness became complete, and Harry landed with a crash. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. It was Hagrid, Ron! Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago! Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe it was some other monster that was attacking people. Hagrid would never have meant to kill anybody! We've always known that Hagrid was expelled. The attacks must have stopped after he was kicked out. I'm going to the library to see if I can find information on Tom Riddle. And while I'm there, why don't both of you go and see Hagrid and ask him what happened? We better be careful, Ron. We're not meant to be out in the grounds after dark. Let's split up to avoid getting caught. At least you can use your invisibility cloak to avoid being seen. Remember that you need to collect these to power up your cloak. They only last a short amount of time, so make sure you're out of sight when they run out. You can unlock the doors by using these pressure pads. You just need to charm a nearby object onto them. Wingardium Leviosa! Nice one, Harry. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. Good luck. Well now. Oh, 
Sasha. Sir. Pass has a different image on it, and there are no objects to charm.
Hagrid! Yet again, Cornelius, I tell you that taking Hagrid away will not help in the slightest. That must be Cornelius Fudge. He's a minister of magic. <laughs> my dad's boss. Quiet, Ron. Look at it from my point of view, Albus. I'm under a lot of pressure. Got to be seen to be doing something. If it turns out it wasn't Hagrid, he'll be back and no more said. So, where am I going? You'll only be going for a short stretch, Hagrid. It's not a punishment, more a precaution. If someone else is caught, you'll be let out with a full apology. Not Azkaban. Come along now, Hagrid. If anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them right. That's all I'm saying. Ron, look at all the spiders. I'm going to follow them. All right, be careful, Harry. I'll go and tell Hermione what we've heard. Hagrid said to follow the spiders. on the waterfall and you shall see the light. Ah! 
Thank you.